Okay, everybody, welcome back to This Is How I Do It, because you may do it different. And today, I'm going to be fixing some brown stew chicken, uh, spicy brown stew chicken, Jamaican style. And I'm going to show you all all of my ingredients um, and how we're going to get this party started. And then you all can go from there and follow me when we continue on with the video. So I'm going to flip this screen so you all can see what all the ingredients are. Okay. First we have here on our cutting board, we got some cut up carrots, some oyster sauce, some soba sauce, which is the same as like suey sauce to get that um, salty flavor. Uh, right here we got the bone red um, peppers and some slightly sliced jalapeno peppers, a lot of celery and your green bell pepper. I chopped up some some garlic and some green onions and I cut up some fresh thyme and tomatoes. And here I have my browning season. I chopped up some yellow potatoes and my chicken. I chopped them up into pieces. You know, I took my chicken and I I literally cut the wing off of these. So I got a couple of wings in here couple of uh, legs from the wings and I also have a few um, chicken thighs and of course my pink salt we're gonna use smoked paprika ketchup and chicken broth so these are all the seasons that you only need for your um, this is all you need for your brown stew chicken spicy brown stew chicken Jamaican style so when I return I'll show you all what it is that we're going to do and step by step because this is how I do it because you may do it different okay y'all welcome back so all of the veg the vegetables that I showed you earlier I put them all on top of the chicken you can, as you can see the chicken is up under here and all of those vegetables that you saw me chop up earlier they on top of the vegetables also you all I forgot that when um, I was showing you all my um, seasonings I, f I left out the main ingredient the pimento seeds I we need these 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 well pimento berries or whatever you want to call them but these are this is what's gonna make this Jamaican food taste like that so only thing I'm doing is I took those frozen um, I mean those chopped up vegetables and I just put them all on my chicken and I'm gonna season this so you can see we're just gonna chop these up until I mean roll these around get all the vegetables on every piece of chicken so that the fresh flavor can get into it and um, and we're just gonna keep tossing them and making sure these vegetables just sit up on here and then this right here I don't have to take long to show you because what I'm gonna do once I get through tossing this chicken around in those fresh vegetables then i'm going to sit it in the refrigerator for like 45 minutes maybe an hour just so that fresh seasoning can get back in there and then once we get once we pull these out we'll continue with the video and you'll see how we're going to do this from there so y'all stand by hey y'all welcome back you probably see that i changed clothes through the video but actually i went on to the next day just to let you know but welcome back to this is how i do it because you may do it different we were making um spicy brown stew chicken for those of you that don't want to go out and purchase nothing to eat and you you know you're slightly scared due to the pandemic like i was this is how we gonna do it right here and um just take note and follow me on my in um, i mean on, on my instagram you can follow me on my instagram my facebook but i really need those hits on the youtube channel the subscribers okay so yesterday we did the um we did the chicken and we seasoned it and what i i told you to let it sit for an hour but y'all I, I was a little under the weather so i had stopped and I just picked back up today. So, and it's okay that if it, if it sit overnight, you just had, we just had our chicken sitting in this seasoning overnight. And now today, what we about to do, um, we about to 
go ahead and take the season off. Never done that before, huh? Season chicken and then take the season off. So I'm gonna show y'all what I'm about to do, and then I'm gonna pause the video, and um, I'm gonna pause the video, and then you can see where we go from there. Then I, I'll pick the video back up. So stand by, stay tuned. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna take this chicken. You see the season that's on there. So I need that seasoning, but I'm gonna pull it off. I'm gonna pull it off. I don't want I don't want it on there no more. Not right now in any way, right? So I'm just getting the season off. And I'll put these chickens over here on this for you. And we will make sure we get it all off, especially your garlic um, pieces, because why? We learned that garlic burn <clears throat> excuse me, garlic burns fast. So we're gonna get this season off and um because I want the season to stay in this bowl because we're using it. But right now, we was just marinating our chicken in it so that you'll have that, that flavor. That good old Jamaican flavor in there. And so you see what I'm doing, right? These are just pieces, different pieces of chicken that I had. So what I'm about to do, I'm going to finish um, de-seasoning. <laughs> I'll be coming up with some words, right? We're going to de finish de-seasoning these chickens and then um, these chicken parts and then I'll come back and show you what we're going to do afterwards. So stand by. Okay, y'all. Welcome back to This Is How I Do It because you may do it different. I um, de-seasoned all my chicken. I took all of that chicken that was in this bowl right here and I just pulled all the seasoning off of it and left it in the bowl. And here's the chicken over here. We're going to just let that sit over there. Make sure I got all of the vegetables up off of there. Now what we're about to do, we're going to start with our potatoes. And I'm going to take you to the stove in a minute. Because we're going to season these potatoes and get these potatoes seasoned up real, real good for you. And our... Um, our chicken so stand by and let's wait on that but I just had to show you that you know I de-seasoned the chicken took everything off because we want to we gonna fry this chicken and we want to fry it naked so with the skin on by the way you know like especially with the wing part the wings we want the skin on because the skin got that flavor in it so just stand by okay y'all hopefully you all can see what I'm doing we're gonna get some EVOO and we're going to pull this in the frying pan. We're going to swirl around because we're going to saturate these potatoes. Now, I had the potatoes, y'all, sitting in water so that they don't turn brown. And don't forget, these was my, um, my yellow potatoes. We got to put our fire on medium. That's what we got going here. So I'm going to just go ahead and start putting the potatoes in because so that this is the way you, you, you make the stuff go a little faster. You could take your time and drop all this in a pot somewhere and call it a day. But right now, this is what we're doing. You can drop everything in one pot and do it just like you do it, like a beef stew or so those of you all that say stew beef. So, we're going to put the potatoes in there, then I'm going to grab, of course, my pink salt, and I'm going to just put a little bit in my hand, because pink salt, I told y'all before, it'd be real salty, so you can see the little bit, and I just sprinkle it around on my potatoes. You only need just a little bit, like a teaspoon, because it gets real, real, it gets real, real salty. And I'm going to use my pepper. And we're going to pepper, put pepper. Like, I love pepper, y'all. Pepper on our potatoes. And we're going to stir these a while. Just to get them saturated with that EVOO. And in the meantime, y'all, I got a pot, a small pot boiling with water in it, just straight up water, and it's on real low. You can start your water in the beginning, just an extra pot of water. And I also have a pot of grease, um, canola oil that's just, it's on real low. I'm getting my pot warm 
so that we can uh, fry the skin on that chicken. But that's all we're doing. The chicken going to cook in the stew itself. Once again, we're making spicy brown stew chicken. And the reason it's spicy is because of the spicy vegetables that I use. Like the jalapeno peppers, um, the bonnet peppers. And we're going to let these go ahead and cook for a while to get a top. Put this top on here so that our potatoes can get soft a little bit. And when I return, you'll see that um, how soft our potatoes, you know, just get them soft. I would say we're going to do this for about... Uh, about four minutes or so, three or four minutes, and then we're gonna mix in our vegetables and um, and at that point, that's when we're making our our seasoning roux along with our potatoes. So we get we getting ready. We're gonna move right along, but we're getting ready for this brown stewed chicken. So y'all stand by. Okay, y'all. See the brown on our potatoes? That's how we wanted to get them. We wanted to get them just like this. And just stir, keep stirring them up. And we're going to keep the brown, you know, make sure they get brown all over. That's what we're doing right now. And right about here, when you start seeing some of them get a little crust on it, that's where we want to kind of like stop at. And I'm going to push this pan to the back and put a top on it. And no, under no fire, we're just going to put a top on it and let these potatoes just sit while we get this chicken together. So stay in back. Okay, y'all. Now that our uh, fire is hot over here in this pot this is y'all this is my favorite pot i'm gonna tell you i cook my collard greens and everything it's like one of them little ugly pots but it cooks it cooks so well so we're gonna go into putting this chicken in this pot because the grease is hot as you can see i got grease down in there and the reason i use this pot because i wanted the um the stainless steel pot i don't i didn't want um to use your basic non-stick frying pan because we want to get that juice into that grease with this uh, frying this chicken naked okay so stand by and we ready to start this thing you ready to see me drop these chickens right on in this pot okay y'all remember this is how I do it because you may do it different so we ready to start taking these pieces of chicken and just drop them down into our pot our, our fire is nice and hot and we want to keep our, keep it on uh, medium low. You know, these, this neck of chicken, we're just going to drop them down in here. And the reason I use a deep pot so that I don't have grease and stuff all over my stove. I don't have a big old, I don't have a big old stove. I don't have them big old fancy kitchens. This is a home video. And like I said, you might see anything, hear anything. Once again, if you hear any music in the background, y'all, I, I don't have a copyright to it. I got to remember to let y'all know that so that my videos can post up here on, on um, YouTube. I'm going to get all them chip pieces of chicken in there. And right now while I'm doing this, getting all the chicken in there, then I'll come back and then let you all see. And the reason I'm stopping so much because I don't want to have to keep handling my phone. And um, like I said, I don't have nobody recording for me. I don't want to have to keep handling my phone and keep rewashing my hands. So um, once this chicken get, when we return, I'm going to show you how brown your chicken should be. And we'll go from there, okay? So y'all stand by. Okay, y'all, uh, our chicken's still frying. So what I did, I just threw some fresh onions on top of the vegetables. The reason I didn't have the onions in there earlier was because um, I had those spring onions, green onions, um, sky onions, whatever you want to call them. I had those in there, um, so I didn't need the fresh onions. But right now, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to continue with this seasoning and make this roux. I use a little bit of liquid seasoning just to pour over top of this. Just squirt it around like that. That's about enough. And... In here, you saw earlier from the ingredients, inside of, this is a half a cup. So I split this half a cup in half. I did oyster sauce and ketchup on top, okay? So we're going to pour that on in there. 
oyster sauce, y'all, is really, really good. Real good. It's in all of your, all, every, just about every Chinese dish. And then, I'm going to add a little browning sauce. It's probably like, let me see, I'm going to pour it in the top. One, two. Because I'm not good at the measurement thing. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not. I'm only good at cooking. That's all. I'm not good at the measurement thing. I, I measure most of, most of everything I cook by eyesight. So my chicken is over there frying. And what we're going to do is... I'm going to use that same measuring cup and rinse it out. This half a cup. I'm going to fill this up about, because this has salt. We're just using this for the seasoning. I'm going to pour it just, just about a little teensy bit. You see how much I poured in here? That's not a lot, if you can see. And we're going to add that just for the salt. Salt seasoning. And last but not least, we're going to do a few of these pimento berries. Um, let's see. Uh, I probably did about a handful. I'm going to let you see. One second. Make sure. I don't know how big your hand is because your hand might be bigger than mine, those of you that's cooking. But at the most, we're going to do about a, almost like a whole, you see? A whole um, tablespoon full. I'm going to go ahead and mix them in there. I'm going to get about well, just a little just a tiny bit more. Like I said, I measure by eyesight so that you can see how much more I just added in there. Because this give it that Jamaican taste, like really that Caribbean taste. And we're just going to stir this all up. God, y'all, I ain't no vegetables can smell so good when you're cooking. They be smelling so good. And it's starting to look like this. That's all. It almost look like a Chinese dish almost, right? But it's nothing but your seasonings that you got all together. Okay? So I just wanted to go ahead and get the seasoning part out the way, what we did with, with that. I'm still frying the chicken, and y'all stand by. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, we back. Now, this is how your chicken should look. I just took that chicken. When I got through frying it, this is how your chicken should look. I just fried it naked like that, and that season was already in the chicken. So I'm going to take you over here so you can see and look inside the um, pot. Mind you, this a home video, so you never know what you might see, what, what might be said, or whatever. But this is what it looked like in the pot. And I did that for a reason, for after frying the chicken, so that it's going to be brown stew chicken. And we need we need our gravy, right? And so that we don't have to use, like, no cornstarch or no flour or nothing like that. We want all of the natural seasons that came from frying that chicken. So what I'm about to do is show you all... Um, how this gonna work? We just gonna take this chicken and all that seasoning. We just gonna um, I'm stirring it up right now like this, but I want to get it. I want to get it good. Wait a minute. Now, I'm not gonna use my spoon. Just give me one second and let me put on this glove. Cause like I said, this is how I do it, and you may do it different. So I want that chicken marinated and all of that. Get all them seasons on there. All right. Get all that seasoning up on there. Now, I don't have to let it sit in the season. I just want to stir it up. Stir it all up in there. Let you see what I'm doing, y'all. So I don't give you no professional video. I'm in my little small kitchen. You know, they say good things come in small packages, so that's where, that's where I'm at with it, because it always turned out to be good. Okay, y'all, so right now my um, pot, I got my pot on, and it's on high. Believe it or not, my hot water that I had in the back boiling, I got that hot water going. Okay, so I think we about done with mixing that 
That was the faster way because that, that spoon wasn't going to do it. So now what I'm about to do is take this chicken stock. Okay, let's come on over here. We're going to take this chicken stock and then that hot, that hot grease, I'm going to pour slowly. So that if you don't, hot grease will be done pop everywhere. Just a little chicken stock for for some flavor to bring to bring it up some, okay? And then I'm gonna show you. Hold on, stay by home video. This is how I go. When you're doing it yourself, you're cooking and trying to record. I don't have all that professional stuff because this is how I do it. I'm welcoming you all into my home. So stay. Okay, y'all. So what I you see it sizzling. And during the course of us cooking, y'all, all of this, all of this uh, chicken residue that's stuck to the bottom of the pan, it's gonna come up once it start to get wet. So I'm just help, I'm helping it a little bit. Okay. That's how we. That's how we gonna make our natural brown stew chicken. We're not gonna go through. All that, let me add some flour to get a gravy. But normally, if you're doing gravy, if you're making gravy, when you fry chicken, you know, leave that grease in there. Use that grease to make um, to make you some gravy. That's starting to look good, okay? So now what I'm about to do, I'm about to take this chicken, yeah, and I'm going to just pour it all in my pot. Get everything up in there. Okay. okay. And then once I get it in here, I'm just gonna stir, stir some stuff up. And we're gonna make sure our fire up real high because we want this to start blending in. Okay. Brown, spicy brown stew chicken. Okay. So y'all, y'all stand by one second. What I'm about to do, I'm about to, um, it's going to, I'm grab the rest of this seasoning out the bowl. I just want to scrape. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm now, what I'm doing, I'm just stirring this until I get a boil going and get it real hot. I had my pot up real high because you want, you want that boil to start going so that we can add our water. Yep. Yeah, this brown stew chicken is going to be so good. It, um, especially with all these seasonings and everything in there. So now that I got everything in there, just like you would use salt and pepper, y'all know I said I like to add a little sweet taste to it. Even though the ketchup we put in there is going to be good, but we're going to add a little bit of this smoke, smoked paprika while it's boiling. Just a little bit, not a lot. We don't need a whole lot. And I'm still, you know, pushing to the bottom, the bottom of this pot so I can make sure that that chicken um, skin and chicken residue that was stuck to the pot, make sure that come off. Y'all, when it get hot with um, chicken stock or, or wet liquid, it it definitely pulls up. It pulls up and you, you're stealing all your little seasonings back, okay? So... Now what I'm about to do, since I got my hot water, the reason I boiled the water is so that I can get a quicker boil when it comes to the brown stew chicken. And what I'm about to do is, um, I told you I'm not good with measurements. So I'm just gonna take my pot and I'm just gonna pour water, you know, on top of it. And then you can pretty much try to eyesight it as much as you want. But y'all saw where it was at that time. I just pulled almost almost a whole pot. Almost a whole pot. That's it. Alright. So, I don't have that much water left. But, I, I boiled just some plain water so that I can get my um, my stew, the stew pot going. Now, what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to sit and let this boil. I'm going to let this boil for about 20 minutes and um, I'm gonna put a top on it 
and let it boil for 20 minutes and then I will come back, we'll add the potatoes and we probably go like another 10 minutes or so and then we'll be through with our brown stew chicken. So y'all just stand by for the final finish, okay? Okay y'all, welcome back to This Is How I Do It because you may do it different. I just wanted to show y'all like what our chicken is starting to look like. It's starting to fall off the, um, everything is starting to fall off the bones that's in here and that's that's what we're looking for like our chicken is real soft and it's about ready so we've been gone for about 20 25 minutes or so so now what we, we what we about to do y'all know i don't like um making a whole lot of dishes now it's time to go ahead and we're just gonna toss these potatoes in there and since our potatoes was like pre-cooked we don't have to cook them long and we're just gonna stir that up in there and let that chicken get all around y'all oh my goodness and you see how see how, see how our juice is we we don't we don't have we don't have to worry about no thick gravy because by the time the 10 minute the 10 i'm gonna say about probably 10 minutes of us putting the top back on here and let these potatoes get in the potatoes gonna start to add the starch and um thicken that juice up just a little bit okay so when we come back then you all to see the final touch i like to add mine on top of some rice and we'll be done okay y'all i'm back y'all caught me in my glasses i had on my contacts earlier um something had got in my eyes and i was like you know what forget this take these contacts out <clears throat> let them get cleaned a little bit but y'all this is the brown stew chicken you see it bubbling now I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to sit up here and um, let you all see the final finish, okay? Camera up there. I fixed some jasmine rice. I love jasmine rice, y'all. A lot of my meals will have jasmine rice in it because it's like the best rice to me. It, it tastes best. But usually Jamaicans, a lot of Jamaican or Caribbean, you know, dishes are done with like rice and peas. So I fixed me some... Um, Jasmine rice, and I'm going to show y'all what this looks like. Okay, got that jasmine rice on there. Let me get some of this brown stewed chicken. I can turn my fire on off now. And you see that? Yeah. Mm. And we we'll get some of the juices out of there our, from our gravy. And we're just gonna pour it all around our rice. And now, let me show y'all uh, my final, my final. This is how I do it because you may do it different. Is our brown stew chicken? Let me see. Let you, let you see. Let's see if we can get that together. Yeah, and that's how it looks on top of some rice once again thanks for tuning in to this is how i do it because you may do it different that's our spicy jamaican brown stew chicken and that didn't take too long you know just with the cutting and chopping and everything trying to get all your seasons together but once you get you know prep your food or whatever everything be together don't forget to tune in and subscribe to my youtube channel y'all stay safe out there thanks for being here